What the hell did you do to the RX-78-2? Oh, this old thing? Well, it was being sold at some prestigious art auction. And one of the pilots decided to buy it, said he wanted to win the war in style or some shit. Problem is, it needs to be inspected before that can happen. <laughs> I didn't know pilots had that much money to just sling around. The color scheme is just... Fantastic! I know. I was just talking to assistant manager Fluffy about it, and Fluffy has really good taste in color schemes. Unlike some people around here. Anata wa kawaii this Fluffy. Well, I actually do like it. It has a nice contrast. Crow, you don't need to suck it to me. I'm not the one that can give you a pay raise anyhow. Whoa, I'm not sucking up to you. Nante Kotoda, you're still here. We have a tight schedule today, so get to inspecting. Tight schedule? This is literally the only thing we got going on today. He even said he's going to the park to be Fluffy's wingman, whatever the hell that means. That man is oddly close to that dog. Alright guys, so once again my name is Crow and I'm the Gundam Safety Manager. Uh, we're going to be doing a nice quick inspection on this RX-78-2 that was painted in a very unique color scheme. So a hey, color scheme aside, we're going to be checking out all the details on the inside, make sure it's operational, the, uh, the software is up to date and it doesn't have any kind of issues, namely safety issues. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now in the unfortunate incident that parts are going to need to be replaced, we can go to new type and get those parts or get an entire new suit if necessary. Hopefully it doesn't come down to that, but they do have excellent shipping, so you'll be able to get your stuff pretty quickly. So first let's talk about some key notes about this suit. It was developed from the RX-78-1 prototype Gundam. The manufacturer is going to be Earth Federation. Amuro Ray was actually a known pilot for this mobile suit, guys. So. Maybe not this particular one, just because there were so many different RX-78s, but just know that this type of suit is something that Amuro Ray has piloted in the past. The total height is going to be 18 meters. The max weight is 60 metric tons. And the armor is going to be Luna Titanium. Now looking at the fine details of the mobile suit, honestly, I'm not seeing any concerns for safety. This thing is a beauty. The only concern I did have is some joints can end up loose, but I think if we just go ahead and tighten those up, it's going to be completely fine. But overall, this is a just a beautiful mobile suit, and it's such a pleasure to actually get to work on something like this. This is the first of this type of RX-78-2, where it has finer details, more panel lines, and just kind of more mechanical stuff. So it's actually really unique in the sense that it, it's a little bit more advanced than the previous RX-78-2s that we've worked on. Now talking about the color, the red and black is just gorgeous. Usually these colors don't really work that well on you know more square, boxy type of mobile suits, but this actually works extremely well. And honestly, some of the grays that pop out, it just contrasts so well and that's uh that's the key word contrast guys now this actually does have some armor shifting movement so when you're bending the legs you're actually going to see the armor shifting in place instead of being a static position it's pretty damn cool if you ask me now one thing that does accompany this mobile suit is going to be the core fighter uh, it can fold up and can fold it right into the mobile suit itself or it can be piloted now in terms of articulation full range of movement. There's no range of movement that this thing cannot achieve. Head just can move all over, the body can shift, you got thrusters that can move, the legs that can move all around. The joints are, once again, like I said, a little bit loose, but they're fairly tight enough to hold a static pose, so shouldn't be any issues, but if you do encounter those, let's just go ahead and uh, get those tight. All right, I think we're good with all the details and the articulation, so let's move on to the weapon. The weapon we're taking a look at is going to be the beam saber, guys. So those are just stored right in the backpack. You can pull them out and bam, use them. Beautiful beams. Uh, they actually get charged in the backpack. That's why they're there. It's not just like cute little storage, but they actually get charged right there with the uh, reactor. So really cool, has two of them, no problems, and can use both simultaneously. Next we're going to have is going to be the beam rifle. Beautiful beam, no problems with this whatsoever. The scope can actually move 
as well as the uh, the front handle. So, hey, all around, I'm seeing in the manual pretty much a good beam rifle, no issues with it. Next we have is going to be the shield. Really sturdy shield, solid. It's going to have like a little opening for the eyes, uh, so that way you can peek through while still guarding. One key thing to note is that the beam rifle can actually be stored underneath the shield, so just keep a keep in mind of that. The next thing we're going to talk about is going to be the Hyper Bazooka. It is going to have a total of five cartridges and it's a beautiful weapon. can be mounted onto the hand and then slapped right over the shoulder. Bam, you're just dishing out some high power ammunition to the target. And when not in use, you can actually store it onto the back of the mobile suit. Alright guys, so that's all the weapons. Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to head back into the hangar. Oh man, that was a great, great inspection. Um, honestly, I have no problem with this. This is clear to go for usage, whatever the hangar manager wants to do with it. Uh, but honestly, this thing is ready for war. I think it's just going to kick ass. Uh, hopefully the pilot is a new type because this thing is its for new types. All right? I don't think this is something that you just want to put a normal pilot in. Put a new type in this, in this thing. He's going to dominate the scene and he's going to, uh, to definitely get some wins underneath his belt. But overall, a hey, great job on the inspection, everyone. I actually had no issues. This is an easy day. We need more days like this, honestly, because uh, you know some days I'm I'm ready to choke every one of you, especially you, Jim. Especially you. But other than that, hey, great job today. Uh, so hey, let's go ahead and uh, let's go hit the showers. All right. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.